Okay guys, we have made it to Pictured Rocks. So we're getting ready to go ahead up and just check out the Munising Falls. So we've got everybody here. We got Dave there, Dave Sr. And then over there's got Bruce. So, yep, we're all getting ready to go up and uh, just check out the Munising Falls first. And then we're gonna jump onto the shuttle. And from there, we're gonna be dropped off at Benchmark Campground. And that's where we'll spend the night and we'll start our adventure tomorrow. we have made it to 12 mile beach campground and we have to go north here a little bit about 0.3 miles to get to our campsite for tonight which is benchmark campground we have reached the benchmark campground our sites are number three and four this is actually number three right here i'm going to set up over there somewhere along that and then over here is camp number four and this is where big dave and little dave are staying and they got a really nice camp so as a matter of fact we can almost pitched three tents here are you pooped out yet guys you dave didn't do anything i don't know if i can make it the rest of the trip that point three miles is a long ways huh you got me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think I'm going to have to eat my food weight down. Eat your what? Food down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. actually have lunch in a little bit. But yeah, they got a nice site here. We could almost put three tents up in here. Are we going to be swimming, Bruce? Absolutely. Really? Okay. Why not? I will definitely I melt. in that water. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, what. That's why you always avoid water. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let you three guys swim, okay? Swim. And I'll just watch. How about that? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyways, we're going to camp all set up. And we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, this is the Big Agnes Copper Spur. And this is obviously just the inner tent right there. This is actually what they call their oversized version. It's a little bit longer and a little bit wider than their normal Copper Spur, which is kind of unique. Probably one of the neatest things I do like about the Copper Spur is they do have a lot of storage pockets in them. You've got a nice storage pocket here which is above your head, as well as another great big storage pocket right in that area right there where I can put my pants, coat, whatever. And then they have two little side pockets. You can see one right there in the corner and that's on both sides. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of nice. They have a little port here too. And what I understand that is for Actually, if you put your telephone up into there, you run your headphones out of there, and you can listen to music while you're trying to snooze. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the fly put on. There is the Big Agnes Copper Spur, all set up with a rain fly and everything. So, looks pretty nice. Got double zippers up on top, as well as on the bottom. Again, it's a little longer and a shaper wider and a little bit taller than the typical copper spur. So open the vent up here a bit. So I can get some ventilation in here overnight. There we go. So the vent is up. That'll help for ventilation. Yeah, that's a very, 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 very nice, very easy tent to set up as well. 
There we go, got the tent all set up. My big Agnes sleeping bag, which is the 45 degree anvil horn, and the big Agnes copper spur tent. And I do have my Helionox ultralight backpacking chair right there. So yeah, and then I got my nifty little hanger that I put up to uh, hang my backpack from a tree so it's up off the ground, which is nice. I will put it underneath uh, the tent in the area over there tonight. So if dew happens to hit on it, it's not gonna get it all wet, it'll be protected. So yeah, I think I'm all set up for the night. We got all the camp set up. We're just sitting down relaxing right now. One of us is eating. <laughs> so anyways, I'll kind of give you a show of the guys campground over here. Over there's Bruce's tent. He's all set up there. Then right there we've got Dave feeding his face. <laughs> Two o'clock. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's only quarter to three. So yeah. Wait and that's Dave's Wait, tent okay. right over there. You then we got you young Dave right there. He already ate, so Happy and then that's his tent right there. I think we're just gonna sit here, relax for a little bit. We'll go uh, check out the lake, see what that's all about. And that's really about it. Just relax the rest of the day. guys we it is now uh seven o'clock and we're all sitting down to getting a bite to eat here so let's see what everybody's eating today so dave has chicken, chicken and dumplings, dumplings yeah okay good. and that's the mountain house right yep mountain house. and you got to put that's more good. water in it you said that's yeah. good. not enough yeah. uh, really and you guys good. are doing a cuban rice bowl right oh, yeah some good to yeah. go some good to go and we have to add the hot water without Scalding. Spilling it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I And it's like surgery right here. Yeah, gotta be careful. There you go. Rehydrate that for what, 10 minutes or so? 12 minutes. 12, 12 That's minutes. That's why I need a clock, a watch, there you go. just to time the food. And it's me, awesome. I am having a little Texas State Fair chili greg's yeah. favorite this is my favorite <laughs> yep and it's put out by packet gourmet and the nice thing about this this is a single serving it's not a double <laughs> so so anyways yeah we're gonna sit down have a bite to eat and then uh kind of go from there okay how's that Thanks, taste buddy. bruce rice is a little underdone uh-oh a little let it let, gotta let it you gotta let it soak though. a little bit longer there yeah it takes extra water be, want to be patient otherwise it's um got a um, what do you think dave vinegar tang very good flavor is it good flavor oh yeah i agree vinegar tang a vinegar tang mm. oh unusual it's not hot no and dave is finishing up his chicken and dumplings every which every bite man it is so good. <laughs> wow. yeah so yeah, we're just gonna sit here and finish our meals and I don't know, maybe we'll play cards if it don't get too dark. We'll see. <laughs> Well, good morning, guys. 
day one is in the books and day two is just beginning <laughs> yep it's like uh, about 7 30 in the morning and uh, had a good sleep last night it took me a little bit to get to sleep but just listening to the waves crashing on the shore was was awesome lake superior waves yes nothing better than that so anyways yeah we had a great uh great night last night played a little cards ate some food had a little bitty campfire in the um twig stove which is kind of fun and as far as today goes we are going to be getting up here shortly having some breakfast and we've got roughly about a seven mile trek down to trappers lake so anyways with that good morning guys this this copper spur tent by big agnes i'll tell you what there's some really really cool features let me show you some of them on the inside first off the nice thing about this tent is it is longer than your normal big agnes copper spur tent uh, i think it's like four inches longer it's about eight feet total length on the inside and then you're like 48 inches at the foot and about 52 inches at the head wide also what's nice is this is 44 inches tall so i got plenty of room here for uh sitting up inside i'm 6'2 so i really do appreciate that a lot but what's really nice is the storage pockets in here check this out foot of the bed you got this nice big pouch here which is great for putting like your clothes your shirt your pants your coat whatever it's a nice big pouch that you can put your clothes in when you uh, go to sleep at the foot of the bed which is really nice then up at the front you do have another good size pouch that does have little accesses right here in the corners for your headphone jacks you can see right there got a little headphone jack so great place to put your electronics charging stations phones uh, watches whatever the case may be a nice storage area there then they still have a couple nice convenient pockets in the corner too I like this is where I've been putting my my uh, glasses and whatnot and that's on both sides so that's very very nice you know wallets whatever on both sides now they say this can sleep too you could but it's still the overall size of it's still a really comfortable one man person uh tent you could fit too but it'd be cozy in here so but anyways yeah there's a lot of nice features in this uh uh big agnes copper spur tent well anyways it's time to get up and have some breakfast Well, hey guys, we are all packed up, as you can see. There's all the boys, all packed hey. up, ready to rock and roll. Had a great breakfast. I had oatmeal. You had oatmeal. Oatmeal, granola. granola. You had oatmeal and you had granola. Yeah. And they have some huckleberries right over here. So we picked some of the huckleberries and put them in our oatmeal. It was really, really good. So anyways, yeah, we got roughly about six, seven miles down to Trapper's Lake. And we'll be heading our way down there right now. Well, for the time being, we have a little bit of a road walk up to the campground. Then we'll go through the campground and continue on the NCT or the North Country Trail. So here we go. Hiked a little ways, but lots of lots of neat little things to see on our way. 
But anyways, as far as temperature today, we're probably right around, I would say, I can't tell because I don't have a thermometer on me, but I'm gonna guess this to be right around a uh, little you know, the low 70s. It's actually really comfortable for hiking. But yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous hiking along here and listening to the waves of lakes, waves of Lake Superior just crashing on the shore. It's quite breezy too, which is nice kind of cools us off. But anyways, probably about another five or six to go and we will be at our next destination. So anyways, so far so good. guys we're gonna take a little break it is now 1209 so I think we're gonna sit down here we're at the seven mile group uh, camp site right here they got a nice little bench area and stuff so we're gonna stop here and have a little break take a little lunch and we'll get back with you so gentlemen where I don't see any gentlemen <laughs> what's on your agenda for lunch Dave same as always tuna tuna and tuna and tuna Oh, okay. oh, those oh. little bread rolls. Yeah, yeah. bread rolls, okay. Yeah, flat rolls. <laughs> and Dave Jr. I know you don't like bare naked Jr. granola bites. Oh! But you can eat them with clothing on. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh. okay. Yeah, what's Bruce munching on? You got a mouthful. <laughs> there we go. And I had a great lunch. Yep, we just stopped over at the that little campsite there, Seven Mile Beach Group Campsite, I believe is what it was called. Had a little bit of lunch. Met some folks that are kind of following the same trek that we are. Nice family. Grandpa, son, daughter-in-law, and four children all hiking. Uh, actually hiking all the way down too, as far as picture grots go. So that's really kind of cool. Especially getting kids involved like that. That's just awesome. Get the kids hiking early. So anyways, yeah, we're just a little low, a little under halfway to Trapper's Lake, which is our final destination for the day. So temperatures, still really nice, very comfortable, uh, all that. And the trail is actually really, really, really well taken care of. I mean, it's just easy hiking. Uh, but anyways, with that, we'll see you down the trail.
just took the uh, turn off toward Trapper's Lake. Got about a half mile hike down to Trapper's Lake to the camp there. We'll get things all set up, sit down, relax. I was gonna say have a beer, but that's not gonna happen. I'll drink some water and uh, yeah, relax and get camp set up and get something to eat and just have a great rest. We'll see you when we get there. Trapper's group is that way, and we got to go that way. It's a big lake. Well, hey guys. We have made it to Trapper's Lake. We got camp all set up here. We just got done eating. So I'll kind of show you. We actually uh, reserved two spots, but we found a spot. One of our spots is big enough to put all the, all the tents on us. Here's my tent right there. Then Bruce is over there. Then that's Dave. And then there's young Dave right there. And we got a little communal area right here. So works out really good. I'll kind of walk you over to Trapper's Lake. It is a real, real pretty, pretty lake over here. Trapper's Lake is a little off of the main trail, so you've got to want to come here. It's about a half mile off uh, the Pictured Rocks Trail, or the NCT. And that's the nice thing about it is not a lot of people really come down here to Trapper's Lake. So it's really kind of neat. I mean, this is just one pretty lake. Just look at this. yeah it's just gorgeous this is probably my favorite campsite on the pictured rocks trail trappers lake so if you guys decide you want to hike this trail highly recommend it trappers lake yep and as far as the rest of the evening we'll go sit by a campfire uh some people that we met on the trail at the last campsite we were at uh they're gone to the beach and they've got a campfire going they invited us over so we'll see you in a little bit 